Happy July, everybody. Happy Camp Nano. It is currently 10 p.m., so I didn't really do any updates for you guys. I'm sorry about that. Um, but yesterday I got super distracted because a girlfriend of mine wanted to grab dinner, so I only did about two of the segments that I normally do. And then today my sister came over with her husband for a little while, so my whole family was kind of just chatting. So, um,. I didn't, I technically didn't do, well, no, no, I did one segment, so I was doing some sprints with um, Natalia, Mandy, and Brooke over on their channel, so I was doing some sprints with them around like four to five, and then I did a sprint right now. So, because I'm in that editing mode, I didn't really get like a lot of words down, I only got like 400 words. But I completely restructured a chapter, so that is a win in my book because that's what I was hoping to accomplish today but anyways yeah I didn't do any um plotting for any of the other uh, my other two projects so I'm already behind but that's okay I know it's kind of like a big task to think that I can even like completely work on three projects a day so I am going to go into camp not being too hard on myself but I do have um like a a pretty clear idea of where I want to go with those two projects so one of them I need to plot out like the opening so I know how it's going to open so now I need to do like those chapter points um and then the other project I'm up I'm at the 20% mark so fun and games if you follow save the cat so this is like the biggest section of the book so it's 30% of the book so 20% to the 50, so fun and games to the midpoint. So that's probably going to take me a little bit longer. So again, I'm not going to be hard on myself um, just because, like I said, when I plot, I just do those beats, right? So like, yes, I know what's going to be happening in that section, but I don't know like the details, you know what I mean? So, and 30% of your book is huge. So, so a lot goes into it. So that's, that project's probably going to take me a little bit longer. It's going to be a little bit slower. Um, but yeah, so anyways I haven't been sleeping very well I've just I don't I don't really know why like no particular reason so I'm probably gonna go to bed it's already 10 o'clock um which is kind of early because you guys know I normally go to sleep at like midnight but anyways I'm probably gonna head to sleep in a little bit I might try to work on um plotting one of the projects um but we'll see anyway so that was my start of my camp I sat in setup mode is off just a moment while this device reconnects. Thank you. <laughs> I participated in a sprint. I finished a chapter. And yeah, I'm going to take that as a win. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy Thursday, everybody. Happy day two of Camp NaNoWriMo. So it is 2.20 p.m. I skipped my my morning sprint um, because I was chatting with my grandma. I was doing other things. I was taking pictures for my other job which is like my art bug business um so <laughs> lashes problems with glasses am i right um i should probably just take them off but anyways yeah so i was busy doing that this morning and doing a workout and all that stuff so why does she keep going i'm having off? trouble connecting to the internet take a look at the help section in your alexa app Thank you. Anyway, so I was busy kind of doing that and just having a little bit of fun to myself this morning. So, it, like I said, it is 2.20, so now I'm going to get into some writing. I think these, this next particular chapter, um, I just have to do like minor tweaks just to make sure that everything matches up from the chapters that I added that came before it. So this one shouldn't be too bad, and then the next one... Um, it's not gonna be a full chapter rewrite but like pretty big rewrite so that that'll probably take me a little bit longer um but yeah so that is my up I just look ridiculous <laughs> I don't know why it's just this eyelash that's like being so annoying um so that is my update for you guys you know that you know I always keep it real with you guys um yeah so that is my update. I'm going to take these lashes off because they look ridiculous behind these glasses. I had contacts on earlier, but I took them out because I don't like to stare at, like, a screen with my contacts on. So, anyways, like I said, getting a little bit of a late start. But, um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. So, I'm hoping to do more of, like, 
uh, the hell game stuff earlier in the day so I can take the rest of the day to kind of work on um, more of those plots for the other project a little bit later so anyways that is all I have for you hey guys. guys so it is same day so it is Thursday still day two of nano but I wanted to quickly come on and wrap up so I did about a chapter and like a couple pages of the next for the hell game revisions so it's about 20 pages so I'm pretty excited about that and then um the chapter that I'm on right now like I said it's just, it's just taking like little tweaks making sure that everything is kind of um you know following the previous edits that I've done and this chapter is super important because the next chapter is when um I would probably say about that 75% mark so again if you follow save the cat that is all is lost I think so shit's about to it's about to get real so I'm really excited to finish this up because the next let's see how many chapters do I have left after this so right now I am on chapter 28 so that means I have 10 chapters left um and this is the point where like pretty big revisions are probably going to be needed so like I said I'm just really I'm really excited to finish and then give myself like a little bit of a break um, and then come back to it. So I'm really excited to read it top from bottom. And I already know like things that I need to um, like look out for, like character growth and um, stuff like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm finally like feeling really excited and really good to go into this next draft, which will be like draft of war. Um, so I feel good about that. And then um, I didn't do like actual too much plotting, but I did uh come up with like a pretty good idea that i'm excited about sorry i'm looking at like my flowers um they're looking kind of funny right now there you go that's better um yeah i did come up with a idea that i'm pretty excited about um it like ties in a pretty good with like another project so that's exciting and yeah so i'm about two and a half chapters in on the series I'm for sure going to self-publish so I'm going to wrap up chapter three's outline tomorrow and then I'm pretty excited about that because that is the 10% mark after about around there because like I said this series this series will probably be a little bit shorter so anyways I feel good about that I haven't done any other um work on the series that I'm planning on um, traditionally publishing, I haven't really looked at it yet, but um, like I said, I, I, I have that entire, <laughs> I have that entire Save the, Cat, Save the Cat outline finished. So at this point, like I said, it's just those like filling in the blanks of the bigger details, right? So, um yeah but I do have um like I'm pretty I'm pretty excited about it because I get to do some like research it's a, it's not like historical or anything um but it's based in the 70s so you kind of have to like you know see um like where I want to give anything out, like where the world is at that time so I'm pretty excited about that I get to do some pretty cool research um but yeah so like I said, I was pretty distracted today too, just because I was like, I was just having a good day. Like I was feeling good. I wanted to dress up and take some pictures and do my makeup and all that good stuff. So I'm kind of behind, but I'm still feeling pretty good. Like I said, I'm trying to take this nano super chill because my last camp was super stressful, but I did get some like pretty good planning and like um, thoughts down. So anyways, that is my Friday update for you guys and yeah feeling pretty good hoping to stay that way and yeah i'm just really excited to keep you guys updated i know in my last vlog i was telling you guys about that like vampire idea that i have and i've been thinking a lot about it so i just need to like calm myself down because right now i have the hell game these are the projects i have working on or at least like 
going to be working on. So The Hell Game, book three, the traditionally published idea that I have, the self-published fairy series, which is four books for now, that's seven, the vampire book, that's eight, and I have another idea that's nine, and then I have a, um, I have like a idea that I really love and I'm really excited about and I can see it going two ways so I can see it going either young adult um traditionally published because it's not paranormal it's contemporary um so I can kind of see it going that way just keep it really like light and like a little bit like sexy but like you know pg-ish you know PG-13 and and some other things I don't want to give away or I can see it going like new adult and keeping it um keeping it self-published and really break myself into that romance genre because I love romance you guys know I love romance that's what I write but I mean like romance romance so I have to prepare myself my audience and my family for that change so I can see that kind of going either way, um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens when I get there. I have so many other projects going on right now that um, I'm not really worried about that one, but that one I actually have completely, completely outlined. Like I had started this project last year, so it's completely outlined. I actually started plotting it when I was taking a break from um, The Devil's Air, I think it was with beta so I had that month off so it's completely done but I just haven't decided like which route that I want to go with so I'm going to stick in my paranormal realm for now because the I don't know I'm, I think I told you guys the traditional published idea that I do have and I'm, that I'm plotting right now is paranormal as well and then obviously the self-published series I'm working on is paranormal as well um because paranormal is where my heart lies, you know? You guys know I fell in love with vampires. That's how I got into reading. And yeah, so. Anyways, lots of ideas. A lot of ideas, which is really, really exciting. And we'll see when I get to them. So that is my update. I'm going to sleep. And I'll see you guys later.